Okay, and this is um, Kara's own history of all her charges, which we already know, so I'm not going to go through it all. Um, it's mainly drugs, sadly. I hope they really, you know, get her help and not let her out, because with what happened to her daughter, it could push her over the edge, you know what I mean? Now, I didn't know that Madison's stepmom has um, been in jail. I heard about it. But, you know, you got to do your own research, and yeah. So she's got 25 records, and dating back all the way when she was a teenager until recently. Um, let's look at this. But what I found is interesting, Ann Taylor was her attorney at one time. Let's look at this. Okay, this was um, 3-6-2022. It says it's closed, but... I don't know about that. See? Ann Taylor. But it says she's inactive now, but she was. So, so controlled substance, possession, drug paraphernalia, and the funny thing about it is because, you know, you talk about um, Brian Koberger using, well, you know, here you got two different victims, you got different parents, and these two here were at the jail at the same time. They had warrants around the same time. And it's just a scary thought. You know, what if, I don't know, just weird. It's just weird to me. But it says down here, December 28, 2022, order of release on old recognizances, which really shocks me because of her record. But like I said, I found her in the Idaho Department of Corrections list, and I also did see something about maybe she's at a mental health hospital having a um, psyche bill. I'm not sure, but how odd is that? Ann Taylor was her attorney too. So the Idaho Department of Corrections has this posted that she is there, but you cannot find out any info. And Kara herself has done time in prison. Okay, Kara's back in Idaho at the Kotenny County Jail. Um, two charges here, controlled substance, 50,000, 50,000. Talks about the warrant and she got there, let's see, yesterday at 10, 50, 42 a.m. And this is the best place for her right now, people, and not going on news stations and doing interviews at your most vulnerable state. Just saying, I had to say that. This ain't nothing about hate towards her she needs help and she was exposed for somebody's benefit just saying okay this is Corey now what I find strange between Corey and Kara not the connection of Ann Taylor but also the connection living in the same town going to jail at the same time have warrants at the same time same jails okay and then, you know, the Brian Kohlberger, you know, them saying he used, and here these ladies have been um, charged with possession, selling drugs. I don't know. Call me weird. So that's pretty much my point besides the attorney part of it, but just trying to make sense of all this. I, I, I don't know. <laughs>